Hey all, uh, we'll see how to install IBM HTTP server in this class. IBM HTTP server can also be called as IHS. So I would be uh, showing how to install IHS 7.0 version. And if you did remember in previous class, uh, we have deployed application in WebSphere. So after deploying uh, the default application, this is uh, one of the URL uh, which we have configured. So here, if you did observe, uh, there is a port number 9081. But in general, in the real time, if you say any website like google.com, yahoo.com, we don't give any port number. So once we configure front end like IHS, uh, we don't need to use this port number. The default port number for IHS is 80 and it would be accessible uh, with port 80 and we don't need to mention any uh, port number. So this is uh, one of the best uh, secured uh, method of configuration. Apart from uh, security, there are many other advantages as well. So the front end, uh, apart from uh, IHS, uh, I mean, apart from IBM HTTP server, you have uh, Apache and uh, you'll have IS from Windows. Um, and so you could, you could have any other web server as well. So uh, now let us see how to configure IHS. In this class, uh, we'll uh, see how to install IHS and in the next class, uh, we'll see how to configure plugin. So once we configure IHS and plugin, then uh, you can start accessing applications uh, by using a port 80, I mean uh, without using any port number. So let us install IBM HTTP server. Accepting the license. You can ignore this warning. Uh, my OS is being Windows 10. Uh, when uh, IHS 7.0 have released, maybe Windows 10 uh, is not released. In general, uh, these applications will be compatible for server operating systems like Linux and uh, Windows servers. So you can ignore this warning. And uh, it functions well on Windows 7 as well. I want to configure in specific path. So I want to configure here. And next. Yep, default port for HTTP is 80 and its administrative port is 8008. So I want to uh, use a local uh, account which is a uh, default account of this windows so i am selecting log on as local system account and i don't need to give any user details here and startup type is uh, automatic fine I'm, I'm i'm going with default settings the apache service i mean the ibm http server uh, service uh, would run as a windows service uh, with the account with the default account of the system i'm going ahead with default settings so, yeah, for administrative purpose i want to create an account let us say ihs admin okay so i'm creating a uh, Username as IHS admin. This would be useful uh, for advanced configurations. Um, 
even it could be useful uh, while configuring plugin I, i'll show you whenever it is required in next sessions so the administrative uh, account for ihs is ihs admin this is a summary report and then the service name user id for http administrator administration server authentication is ihs admin well i'm going ahead So it's success, uh, IHS is configured. Once it is configured, uh, you should be able to access uh, the page uh, with localhost. Uh, if you type uh, localhost, you should be able to access uh, the default page of IHS. Yeah, uh, to check whether IHS is installed, check with HTTP localhost, you will see IHS welcome page. So let us see. seems like uh, there is there are some other services in this system i have to disable those services there is a other web server uh, is uh, which is configured in this system so it is giving the default page of that so let me stop it yep i have stopped it so let us check now So let us start the server. Uh, the service is still not started. I want to open it again. So the method to start IBM HTTP server in Windows is through services.msc. So I just wrote services.msc and pressed OK and you will get this window open. And here uh, the service doesn't seem to be up. Let me start it. So it's running now. Let us check it now. Yeah, so this is the default page of uh, IHS. So it has been uh, installed uh, successfully. So that's why we are getting uh, this page. And uh, next, 
one of the important configuration file uh, for IHS is httpd.conf this is a place where uh, you give details of all applications I mean whichever website or application you configure this is a configuration file you give all the details related to it let me navigate the path HTTP server conf com. So this is uh, one of the important file uh, which are, whenever you configure applications uh, you would do some updates here so sometimes you would do manually sometimes you could do using admin consoles this is one of the important file and uh, so uh, as I have already told in Windows you can start and stop services using uh, services.msc in the Linux, you should go to the bin path and then you should uh, start using commands like apache ctl start, apache ctl stop. You should use commands uh, with apache ctl. And, um, like, uh, let us uh, navigate a few uh, error, important error log files in uh, IHS. Logs. Access.log, error.log error dot log are a uh, couple of important uh, log files uh, to troubleshoot IHS. Like uh, if even if a website is accessible, you will see error code with 200. 200 means success. Mm -hmm. And if you find any errors, 404 error, 401 error, uh, error uh, any error uh, which you get while accessing websites, uh, those will get recorded in access.log. And if you have any internal errors uh, with uh, IHS, uh, you know, I mean, if IHS doesn't run properly because of uh, configuration, configuration issues, uh, those kind of errors will get record, get recorded in error dot log. And uh, at the same time, once plugin uh, gets configured, uh, I'll show you in the next session. Uh, even HTTP uh, plugin uh, dot log is also one of the important. Uh, log file uh, helpful for troubleshooting uh, th this uh, file will record errors uh, be related to communication between IHS and uh, WebSphere uh, those things I'll show in the next class as well and uh, these are the common errors error logs of WebSphere most of the times uh, the error which is there in access.log would be there in uh, system error, dot, uh, error as well well, uh, this comes under uh, WebSphere, but uh, I'll show you as those as well as uh, it would be useful while troubleshooting. So, IBM WebSphere app server logs server one. Yep. So, system dot out and uh, system. System error dot log are a couple of uh, important log files in uh, WebSphere. And uh, this is all about uh, this class. Uh, if you have any questions or doubts, uh, please load them in the comments. I will reply to them. Uh, if you want to learn WebSphere application server administration course, please register with register the register to this channel so that you can get more videos in your future. And you can watch the playlist uh, in my uh, channel page, uh, which will be having complete uh, administration training course. Thank you for watching this video. Bye-bye.